Hello people from the world, hope you didn't miss it too much. I'm back with a new video, a chill one today, as we are going to talk about potentially the best set from the Sword and Shield era. So what we're going to do today, we're going to take a look at some data. Obviously, if there's no data, then it's most likely not uh, one of my videos. And uh, we're going to take a look at what prices of these cards are doing using TG Player. So it's going to be some sort of a market watch, see where Crown Zenith could be headed. Also utilizing the bot that I created and it's available for free on Discord. Now, before we get started, just a couple of announcements as I've been away for a week. There's going to be most likely a live this Sunday. Uh, I'll let you know hopefully tomorrow with another guest on the channel. And then as I had a ton of fun with the best toys, I'll leave you if you haven't watched a live stream. It's like almost a three hour long live stream. Uh, we talked about many different things, CD scans. We talked about investing, uh, emotions about investing, many different topics. I'll leave you the link to that live uh, right here as usual on top of my face. Go check that out. And uh, if Baz will, will want to, I'll be happy to have him on the channel again ASAP. Maybe it'll be a recording thing. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. So without further ado, let's talk about Crown Zenith. So I don't, I mean, I'm looking here at the card just in case you, you're new to Pokemon, you don't know about this set, or just a fine reminder of the goodness, the juice in this set. So obviously we have the four gold cards, Tina, Arcus, Palkia, and Dog, and by the Mewtwo, the star with the, let's say, twin promo that comes on the Charizard UBC, if I'm not mistaken, whereas it is the set card in Vista Universe, which would be the Japanese equivalent for Crown Zenith, which I'm a, I'm a big believer on, and I do not have a problem calling it the best set ever created by mankind, talking Vista Universe. So so this is a quick overlook of the first page here on TG Player of the cards within the set. Now, now to mention are the three legendary beach dogs, the Raikou, Entei, and Suikun. I love the Dark Cry, just like I'm a big fan of this Red Gigas. Now, that's the art, we briefly looked at it. Let's talk about numbers. Let's talk about data. So, as you can see here, this is what's happening to Crown Zenith EDBs in the US in TG Play prices. Now, the bottom so far has been $40, and we're now back in the 50 areas. Now, if, as you can see here, Year over year, we're down 23%, which technically, if you were to buy at the bot, the top here last year at $65, and you were to sell now on TG Player, you're using TG prices, so you were to sell at 49, uh, according to TG Player fees, you will be down more than 23%. Um, no one talks about it, let's consider that. If you sell with TG Player, you're gonna lose more than 23%, and if you sell not on TCG Player, then you may even you may sell at a discount, so you may sell at 45, which at the end of the day, you're still going to lose that additional 30%. But that's not the point. The point is where the market stands for these EDBs. Now we know we heard about the restock. I think it's, it's gonna it should be called uh, on at Sam's Club in the United States. Now, if you've been on the channel as well as if you can hear my accent. I'm in the U. So, in a way, I couldn't care less about what's going on in the US. However, fear does spread. Now, have I seen fear in the European market? Absolutely not. How can I say that? Well, I'll pop up one chart here that is the supply for Crown Zenith ETBs in the European market. That is all English. As you can see, the supply is a nice downward line. Keep nice and steady. It's been going down, that's almost three months, uh, I think it's, yeah, almost three months of data, and uh, just it's done nothing but going down. Now, we may see uh, sellers stepping into the market with additional supply. If they're smart, they're gonna dump uh, a little supply at the time, we're not gonna dump all of it at once, uh, but, I mean, it's possible many people have uh, currency stocked up. However, what we can see with this chart is demand, right? If boxes disappear from the market most likely they have been bought if then they've been bought for some reason or the other there was demand demand might have come from people who wanted those you know etbs to keep sealed to open them whatever 
there is demand. It doesn't matter where, I mean, just to an extent, but um, I, I don't want to rant on it. Uh, to an extent, it does matter where demand comes from, but for the sake of this video, there is demand. So in the EU, people doesn't really seem to care about what's going on in the US um, at Sam's Club. Uh, another indicator is price. If you, I'm gonna pop up um, the the price chart for, uh, once again, currency if it be in the EU, and uh, while supply was going down, uh, prices go was going up. Now, in my in the Discord, I saw a discussion the other day about uh, how come uh, supply has uh, more than uh, halved and price has you know just went up by five to ten euros. One thing you can come up by looking at this chart is that the relationship between price and supply is not proportional, or else it is, but not on to a one to one degree a uh, half in supply did not correspond to a double in price there might be some sort of linear relationship it exist it might exist but it's the coefficient of that relationship is not one that's a simple takeaway you could have gotten from that chart and if you look at uh, you know i have data for many different products none of them uh, the relationship in no none of them is uh, let's say a one-to-one -one relationship that's uh, as simple as that. And uh, to think that, uh, you, you know, you could have easily come up with that conclusion yourself. Now, that being said, uh, if, you know, many of you might have wondered by looking at this chart, how come supply is almost um, have more than half, but price just went up by what, 20%? Uh, think about, yeah, about 20%. That's it. So that being said, uh, being in the U, uh, I personally to have uh, currency underneath B's, I've said why many times. But if you are in the U, I wouldn't be worried too much. Uh, in the U.S., it looks like the you know the news has been priced in, but not even too much, right? Uh, if you look at it, fifty-three dollars where it was, and now it's at forty-eight fifty. Um, so it, it you know it hasn't really impacted the price that much. Uh, it's a three dollar five, which is ten percent. What is ten percent? Um, especially when it comes to these prices, such, such small absolute values right that's 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 all i have to say that's my opinion now an interesting product which uh, i i really i would prefer to the uh, etbs are booster bundles now with booster bundles it's quite interesting what's been going on they have been doing nothing but rise that's quite interesting could it be because they don't really get reprinted uh it might be an item that definitely didn't get as reprinted as uh etbs I also, as you can see here, it, there's data available from November. I, w I if I'm not mistaken, if I remember correctly, uh, this type of product came out um, during the first big reprint of Crown Zenith in the U.S. and Canada. If I'm not mistaken, uh, prove, let me know, that guys, down in the comments if you're American Canadian, uh, and that's why we only have this type of data uh, starting from uh, November of 2023. Uh, but I shouldn't be mistaken. So that's probably why it, it, it only got uh, one, might have all, only gotten one uh, print wave and uh, hence why they've been doing nothing but rise because they, as a product, they never get got reprinted. Um, so obviously there's packs, but if you care about the product itself, the collectability of the booster bundle, they never got reprinted. So that could be why. Now, cases, that's what cases have been doing. They went down, basically they follow the same um, path as ETBs. Now, I want to take a look at, at cases in the EU as we already looked at uh, single ETBs, prices and supply. Just want to take a look at uh, what's going on with the cases. As you can see, lowest listed 500. Now, if you're not aware, none of these prices include shipping as shipping depends on the European country you live in. Uh, and as you can see here, there's um, my supply stands between 550 uh, to 600 euros before shipping. So that's basically where we're at. Uh, and um, Crown Zenith has always been more expensive in the U than in the US. Now in the U we got a, uh, let's say reprint restock. Uh, we did not print uh, Crown Zenith in the EU. Uh, so let's call it a restock. Uh, in, uh, I think it was April of 2024, which was much later than what happened in the US, right? In the US, if I'm not mistaken again, the reprint, the big reprint happened uh, end of 2023. We got it at, you know, April 2024. So um, it was about time. 
and prices drop all the way down to 40 euros, which is basically what prices did in the US after the reprint. Similar market, however, still product and singles so far have been a bit more expensive in the U than in the US. Now, take a look, a quick look at what's happening with the main singles of the set. Now, the Tina, which took quite a hit from 140 to 100, we're still up 23% year over year, which is interesting. Uh, now the question is, will we stop when we stop? Now 100 is a psychological level. 100 is an even number, and it, you know, so saying, oh look, Giratina hit 100, or Giratina hit 120, uh, you know, it, when it's 120, you may say, well, let's, let's wait and see if it gets to 100, maybe I can buy. Or you may say, well, let's see if it gets a bit below 100, and at that point I might buy. And that will, you know, if you buy just below 100, that will, you will create demand and price may or will might move back up to $100. Now the Arcus here, also quite the dumb from 100 to 70, and uh, we're just up 10% year over year, which after TG player fees is basically a loss. And here with the Mewtwo, we're up 7% and uh, the dip was from all the way up to $70 to now $50. Now, what do I think about singles? I think these singles are gorgeous. They're just great artworks. I'll leave you uh, a picture of the Arcus, Japanese Arcus that I bought from this universe. Just stunning artwork, in my opinion. Uh, I think the, the Tina and the Arcus are, are some of the best artworks uh, ever created. Uh, happy to disagree, but uh, that is my opinion. Now, I do think Crown Zenith is a great set. Um, the only problem I have with it is that it's especially set and it doesn't come with booster boxes. That's why I have such a small position. And that's why I do have a pretty large position in this universe. Now, would I buy at $50 euros? That's a good question. Will I buy? No, I will not. I'm happy with the two ETPs I have. Maybe I'll open them in the channel at some point. I don't know. Uh, but I will pick this universe all day every day if you ask me, especially at the prices I bought Visa Universe for. That being said, hope you guys liked the video. Try to give a market watch as well as show you some data that you don't see every day considering I am the only one to my knowledge that has this kind of access to data in the European market. If you want to guide guys, check out the Discord, it's absolutely free and uh, it's growing, which I'm happy just like this channel. So hope to see you there. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.